All right. The next email is very uh, disturbing. Okay. So it's an angry email from a guy called Eddie Gonzalez. The subject is cancel. Get my Durban. Hello. I will get straight to the point. Please never read another Durban email or bring up get my you know what again. He puts in capital letters. Also, yes, Mr. Gilbert, Mr. Gilberti, you do say quote and stuff and everything unquote a lot. Yeah, but I'm just repeating what somebody's saying in the email. You. <laughs> it is as common as your quote perfect example unquote. Also, did you know that the hey there man that guy that says and stuff and everything. Emails is a get my go, get my, he, he never spells out get my go. He put get my, and he has <clears throat> frowny faces reference. Now, this is the important part of this email. Feeney acts clueless about those things. Well, it is hard to know if he is acting clueless since he seems clueless most of the time. P.S. Tell Feeney to start washing his hands after he uses the toilet. We all know Dirty Joe rubbed his eye with <laughs> fingers. Thank you, longtime listener and Patreon member Eddie Gonzalez. Joe, is that accurate about the, your eye was because you don't wipe your you don't wash your hands after you use the bathroom? It's completely inaccurate, and he's making light of a very serious infection that could have caused me to lose my sight, and I find that very offensive. Okay, but what's the thing? Why do you act clueless about the the hey there man and stuff and everything guy? Do you know who that is? And you, I don't know who that is. I, I know that there's a joke on Get My Go because the guy always said, hey there, man, but I have no idea who... First of all, I like what this guy does. He <clears> says, <throat> get my, and he doesn't say the last dot, word. Dot, dot. I prefer that we do that here on this show. Get my, you know... You, you know what? Well, it's called the get my, I you know what. I prefer we don't even say any of those words. I prefer we don't talk about it. It's a stupid show with idiots on it, including our co-host. And <laughs> it's <laughs> ridiculous. You listened to it. You told us it was terrible. Joe tries to put it over because, you know, he's got to have something to gloat about. Oh, we got a show which is not that good. It's not that listened to. But, you know, it's five guys putting themselves over and thinking they're funnier than they really are. So, yeah, I, I, I would say that any mention of that show on this show should be prohibited. That's Bro, that's just gonna get. That's just going to drive viewers to the show. <clears throat> then go ahead. Then if that's what's uh, – if people are going to go, if they're going to go out of their way to listen to a bad show, you're not allowed to say go. in spite of me, yeah, go You're ahead. not allowed to say go. Actually, let's not even say the word – let's just ban the words get, ban the word mine, get, ban the word go from now on. Would, could, could we agree on that? Yes. It's horrible. <laughs> and hopefully Joe and Feeney. <laughs> the subject is Joseph Matara Eliano, and the subject is mailbag. Hey, K100, question, K100 crew, my question is for Conan. Historically, I've never been a fan of Lucha Libre, mainly because of the language barrier. I love commentary and rely on it to catch me up on a product. That being said, I love the English commentary team AAA, AAA has rolled out. Whose idea was the English commentary team? That's from Joe Matara Eliano. Bro... If you listen Maybe to our show, his phone number here. Does this guy want us? Does this guy want us to call him? The guy left his phone number. Should I, should I say his phone Joe, number? Joe should call him. Yeah, Joe should call. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Text him, Joe. I don't say, want to. Yeah. hey, what's up, Joseph? Hey, what's, Put your cell phone. phone. Yeah, right. Hey, here's um, my Amazon wish who, list. Who is? Wait, first of all, I thought the that Vamp was English commentary. He was terrible. He was. That's why he's no longer doing it. So who do they have now? This guy called Larry Dallas and another guy called Joe Dombrowski. Oh, yeah. Joe Dombrowski's doing it. Yeah, nice. I know Joe Dombrowski. Yeah, that's interesting. And the other guy, so they're they're getting good reviews. Is that are, are this the, the is this the first good review you've heard from them, or are they getting good reviews? No, they've been people? doing a couple shows now, bro. It took me years and years to convince the company, hey, you're doing a huge service putting guys on that don't know what the f they're talking about, and we were getting destroyed until finally, you know, they were like, well, find them yourself. Like perfect, perfect example. Like we never listen to the Spanish broadcast of, of WWE, right? But if you're working for WWE and you don't speak Spanish and you're hearing a lot of negative things about the Spanish commentary team, you'd probably want to maybe ch change change it up a little bit. You but know, I don't think they right. were reading. They were reading American news. That was a problem. They were just like in their own bubble and reading Mexican. <laughs> and right. our Mexican commentators are great. We had to change the old ones too because they were <laughs> terrible. Right. But the guys we got now are great. Hugo Sabinovich and this guy called Guillen. And conspiracy then, uh, theorist Hugo, Hugo Sabinovich, by the way. He's always got yeah. conspiracy theories. Yeah. And so then the English had an array of people from Balloonhead Kevin Gill to Vampiro. <laughs> the f <laughs> you feel uh, uh, it's like not only did you scrape the bottom of the barrel for commentary, you actually lifted the barrel up and got under the barrel. 
right. to like fifty. Right. But he like wasn't soaps, hired. Um, he wasn't hired like by you or your consent, right, Conan? Wasn't he hired by the the network or something? KG. Bro, somebody posted I think a video. You already know the answer were, to that. Why guy, would you ask that? So in one of our in one of our in one of our in one of our YouTube clips, somebody on there was like trying to bury Conan. Okay, and he had a whole montage of of Vamp's commentary and how unprofessional it was. And I was like, this, why is this? Been, this why was this Barry Conan? But Conan probably didn't know this guy. This idiot was doing this. Did you, Conan? Have you seen the videos, like these compilation videos from the no. AAA of what Vamp was? But Joe, you got to try and find this. We, we need. Yeah, we no. need to put this on pay. We should put it on Patreon. We watched it because years Vamp ago, is so dude. unprofessional. Yeah. Like during that, it was unbelievable. I watched this clip and go, I'm like, I've gone to my desk and go, what the. F- this guy doing it's like you know it's, it's ridiculous you just started having conversations with people like off the you know you would get up and like like if it was like completely it was like a dude when you take your dog and you have it on, on the leash and you just unleash your dog and it's just running all over the yard all over the place Bro, can you That's imagine like. as an announcer a wrestler does a dive or something right and the announcer right. runs over to see how he's doing <laughs> What a way to like bring attention to yourself, <laughs> right? Um, the, what were some other funny things he did on that show? You because this is actually fun. It's it's hysterical watching. Just act, not yeah. be informed, and it wasn't funny. That's right. just it. Melting down on the air. Where's my f- music? Yeah, right. Play my f- music. <laughs> Do you not think people can hear you? You're on live, right? You know, you know he'd always be telling Hugo yeah. Savinovich, uh, "Tell your sister I said hello." Tell your sister I'll be there later on. Why? Why is this subject this is, this, matter on the air, Vamp? And it's on. Wait. So this is on your the 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 Super Bowl broadcast. It's, it's triple mania. Yeah, well, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's like it's like this is WrestleMania. The, the, the guy's just going into business for himself completely. Uh, did you want to so watch? Did you want to watch this clip? No, just put it on Patreon because it's, how long is it? Fifty-two seconds. It's oh, just it's it? just him yelling about the music though. We've seen we have yeah, seen play, play that spot. Yeah, this th- th- give you the thing how how unprofessional this was. I need my music right now. I need my music right now. Come on, man. And Kira calling for his music because it's the music that will get these fans behind Vampire for them to understand what's going on here. And all the, the, the production aside, man, where is the f- music at this point in the trip? I don't know if he you needs your music. You're being called out. Jeez. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Time out. Time out. Time out. So, so this idiot, <sighs> the spot is you're calling him out right. at the announcer's table. So it's kind of like a shoot, right? Right. This guy wanted them to play his music instead of right. just confronting you when you're calling. Like, like, bro, you get your music played when you come out the entrance ramp. Like, he wanted, he's yelling in the thing to, to play. <laughs> oh, my God. I, bro, I'm sorry. I think that's funny. I mean, because yeah. it's, so, it's, so, it's, it's so unprofessional, it's funny. That's why.